welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a, another You Picked It look, and this one is also picked by Samara Han. Han, I think I said that right. I don't know. I do apologize. She is my Pakistani little sister. That's what we decided anyway, and so we had a whole conversation about this look and the soft girl look. I wasn't really sure which one she was asking for a soft look or a soft girl look. I wasn't sure because they're completely different looks. So she asked if I would do both. I thought about it. Yeah, I'm going to do both. So today we are going to create this look and if you'd like to see how it's done, just keep on watching. All right, to start off this look, we're going to start with some priming and I am going to use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hydrolonic Acid Primer. This stuff is so good and it's affordable. So if you're looking for a good affordable primer, this would be the one. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. Face is prime. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes, and I am using Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Okay, moving on to concealer, I got ColourPop Pretty Fair 15. So for foundation, I am going with Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. Okay, so now I'm moving into eyebrows and I'm using the brow bar to do my brows and any cleaning up that I'm going to do for my eyebrows, I'm going to use the foundation on the back of my hand. Okay, so now we have eyebrows and we are moving into eyeshadow and I am going to use the new Moss Palette by Hank and Henry because it is soft and those are the lovely beautiful colors. So because we are going soft, I don't want to really use anything super super harsh in my eye. So I am going to go with this color right here. This is Marvelous. I'm going to take this pink right here and cover the lid and it's lickety lilac. That's what we're using. I'm going to take this color and put it in the outer bottom part of the lid area. Alright, keeping it soft, I'm going to use this color under the eyes, and I'm probably going to go back in with this one too, those two colors under the eyes. Okay, 
Okay, so that is all I'm doing is for a shadow. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit with some of this foundation. That is it as shadow, but there were these in the new Hank and Henry collection. And this is like a gel um, sh liquid shimmer. And I think that they're pretty soft. I think I'm gonna use a, no, I don't think I'm gonna use that color. I think I'm just gonna use this one right here. This is Heliox. This is kind of like a silver color. Let me show it to you. I'm gonna dab that on top of my lid and I'm also gonna put it under the waterline just to give my eyes a little bit of sparkle. Let me get a brush for this because I really wanna control how much I put because I still wanna keep it a soft look. So that is all the sparkle I'm going to use on that. If you look at it, it looks more wet than it does anything, and that's what I want. I know, you you know that I'm glitter obsessed, but I'm not trying to make this a glitter look. I'm just trying to make it like a little sparkly to bring out the eyes while still maintaining a really soft look. So now we are moving into eyeliner, and I have this eyeliner here by Marc Jacobs. This is in shade. Stiletto. And I am going in under the eyes with this. Okay, so for top eyeliner, we are using Dose right here. And we're going to just do the top eyeliner now. Okay, so eyeliner is done. We are going to use this Benefits Bad Gal Bang on the bottom lash line because this is a blue. Um, even though this is a soft look, you can still do a little pop of color, so that is what I'm doing. I'm just using like a steel color, blue colors in the bottom lash line just to breathe a little life into this look. All right, for top mascara, we have Marc Jacobs. There is the eyes. I will not be doing false lashes today, and that is mainly because every time I use them, regardless of the brand of glue I use, my eyelids seem to itch really bad and wat my eyes water profusely, and it is a real struggle to get your lashes to stick when your eyes are constantly watering, and I just really don't feel like going through that today. So we are going to move on to contour and again I don't really do a lot of contouring but for soft look you really don't want a lot so using GG Gorgeous here and hey where's my brush I have a brush somewhere here okay I found my brush I'm using the LMR brush here and yep again you might not notice that I use any contouring or anything to bronze up the face but I do you can see the usage right there so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so that 
that is all the color I want. I am sorry about the lighting. I am competing with the sun. The sun is going behind clouds and coming out and it's making my life difficult, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. Um, and next we are moving on to highlight and I've got two that I'm going to use. I've got the Oprah one here. This is Covent Garden. kind of has a pink brown shimmer to it. So it is soft. And then I've got this Hank and Henry one. This is Night Light and this thing is very much so blinding so it's not very soft but I just want it to give certain places on my face a little extra which is why it's out so let's go ahead and do that Okay, so now it is blush time. We've got Lovecraft Beauty. I got this in Ipsy a while ago and I use it all the time and it doesn't even look like it. But um, yeah, we're gonna go in with these side colors right here. I always, always, always like to use a setting powder at this point because I don't do any baking because it just doesn't look as good as you age. And I like the fresh look it gives. It kind of gives it an airbrush look when you do it at this point of the stage or this stage. So that is what I'm doing. This is Seattle London Everyday Vacay. I use this thing a lot mainly because I just love the coconut smell. Alright, so for lip color, we're going to use this um, Private Society Guidette. Guidette, because it kind of matches the color. That's really what I was going for. And then I have this gloss. This is uh, by Nature's Cartel in VCR Static. I'm going to use this just in the center to give it a little dewy pound. So that is the look. We are going to set it. We are setting it with Pretty Fresh by ColourPop. And then we are also going to use Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Because I, I like to be extra and I like to use two setting sprays. Okay, that is it of this look. This is my soft look. I guess it's kind of soft. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you think it's soft? Is this something you might try? Let me know your thoughts of this look below. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I hope to see you in my next video.